Hmm, what could this be? Hmm, for that information, you're going to have to stay tuned after the intro, guys. everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to another episode of One Man in His Boat. I am your host Barry and this is our gorgeous Cygnus 21, the Lindsay B. Now, we know she's going to be the Lindsay B because what was in that envelope is this magic bit of paper. Carvings and markings note, we have our official name and our official numbers. All we have to do now is get it all set out on the boat and get the paperwork back to Cardiff so it all becomes official. But as always guys, a wee bit of news first before we delve into the carvings and markings. News this week, well, I've had quite a bad week actually. I have done just a bit diddly squat. Uh, unfortunately for the Bruntons, we've had car issues. Not just with one car, not with, just with two, but with three. So that's took a long time to sort out. First one, we had to scrap our poor um, Ford Focus. That's now gone to the scrap heap in the sky. Second, I'm teaching our daughter Kayla to drive. Now we've got a private road that runs up and down in between the barns and I was uh, practicing emergency stops there and unfortunately Barry blew the brakes. Two weeks, maybe three, before we can get the van fixed. <laughs> And add insult to injury, our family car, our Ford Mondeo, the engine management light warning came on and we had to go and sort that out. But luckily enough, it's nothing major, but she's still got to go to the garage eh, next week to actually put on the diagnostic machine. So yes, we've had a lot of car trouble this week, which has took up all my time. The most I've ever done to the boat this week is actually give another coat a red line round the top. Unbelievable. It's amazing how much time, oh, oh, and since Kayla's learning to drive and she done very well at her um, exams this year, we have given her a nice treat and we've bought her a little car as well. So congratulations on the exam results Kayla, well done darling, we're very proud of you and onwards and upwards sweetheart. Right, news about the boat, I'm going to stop laughing on about personal stuff, news about the boat. We are actually waiting on what should arrive this week. The Bulge Kills protects us from Cygnus Perrine boats. I got a phone call from Karen last week to say that it's going to be uplifted on Monday and it should be here by the end of the week. It's now the end of the week and it's still not arrived, but I have high hopes. I have high hopes, my friends. Um, in other news, uh, I've been in touch with the, the sign writer and the painter and he is talking about coming next week. So that's what this week's video is all about. We're getting the outside of the hull prepped. It needs um, the water line done again. We need to get the blue where the creels come up done at least another two coats minimum because unfortunately the numbers are going to have to go right on top of that. And we need to get the red line done ready to set everything out. We're still not going to paint the bottom of the boat because I want to keep that for a different vlog. Um, but yeah, things are coming. The boat's going to look quite nice on the outside. And then after that, it's just rattle on with the inside once the outside is complete, which should only take a week, maybe two maximum, depending on how things go with uh, appointments, etc. Right, shall we go more into detail about the carvings and markings note then? So ladies and gentlemen, what happens is you get three bits of paper in your wee package from the MC Cardiff. And as you can see, they write you a lovely letter. Uh, it gives you the details of what your vessel's going to be. Uh, obviously it's a new registration. Uh, with people with old registrations, I think you can actually kick up your old numbers and that, but you've got to request it. And I would just like to say a big thank you to Mr. Mark Davies for his patience through the COVID and 
obviously getting our paperwork from Cygnus Marine Boats and everything that he's done. I mean, he got everything to us as quick as he possibly could in the circumstances and we're very grateful for that. So once you read your little letter from them, then you go on to your next piece of paper. Right guys, this is the second bit of paper that you get. Obviously it's got all the details that they need to know. The name of the vessel is going to be Lindsay B. Uh, Port of Leith. Now, I know I fish from Dunbar, however, it always goes for your nearest port. So it doesn't matter where you are in the country, your nearest biggest port is basically where you put it down, and ours is least, so that's why we get an LH number. Now the 411, uh, I did say in a, a past vlog that I'd reveal why it's 411, and it's just as simple as that's Lindsay's birthday. <laughs> it's easy as that. And it's very nice and easy to paint as well because it's all straight lines. I found that out after them um, painting a rock copper of Bercule, LH138. Oh, I hated the three and I hated the eight. Terrible numbers to paint. Anyway, and then you get your official number now. That official number will be actually carved onto the boat itself and we'll go in, into that in the next piece of paper. So once you get your carvings and markings on the boat, um, what happens is somebody comes to inspect it, they sign it, date it, and then put an official stamp on, and then that gets sent back to Cardiff, and then that's when it all becomes official. That's if you've done it right. In order to know that you've done it right, is by the next piece of paper. Right guys, this is on the instructions on how to actually carve your vessel. Now, Unfortunately for the poor MCA, they're actually worse than sea fish. They think not just every boat is 15 metres as sea fish does, they think it's 17 metres. So a tiny little 21 foot boat that's only 6 metres, 6.4 metres in length, has to have the same carvings and markings as a 17 metre boat. Oh my god, I'm going to run out of boat every single size of lettering must be a certain size. Now we are under 17 metres in length, so our sizes for our names should not be more than, eight, eight, sorry, not be less than eight centimetres in height and 1.5 centimetres in breadth for each letter. And for the numbers, that should be 25 centimetres in length and four centimetres in breadth. Now, that's a big ask at a 21 foot boat, especially when you have to have each set of numbers on each quarter of the boat and your name and number on the front of the boat and then you've got a little space at the back to put your name and number on the stern. We'll find out more about that hopefully next week's video when the sign writer comes to actually paint the boat. Sorry, could you give us a hand with this? This needs to go on, basically. Blah, blah, blah. I'll put that in towards you. <sighs> what user are two folk? Thank you. Jeez, oh. I need my weight bikes in the morning.
the site director uh, le left a message for you on right. the phone, and I just came out to tell you because I have nothing else to do, and I'm just waiting the phone for Stuart. Thank you. I'm going to give my phone in. Thank God you're putting music over this way. <laughs> Right guys, while we're waiting on that gel coat setting, um, we've still got prep work to do on the waterline, uh, we'll get that done in a minute, but I just wanted to quickly talk about these bad boys. Now obviously our sign writer's coming next week, and I want to be fully prepped for him so it's less work for him to do. And I had a little genius idea, I really did. I thought, why don't we put the, the top coat on top of the life belts, I'll get a few coats of that on and it'll be absolutely lovely ready for the man to actually do what he does best. Ah well, alright in theory, until the practice comes in. I don't know if you can see that guys. Oh, that's the wrong side. <laughs> I've gave you the wrong one. That's what happens. See all the wee chippy, stay? The wee chippy bits? That's what happens when you put fiberglass on plastic. 
I might have done it wrong. I mean, there's every chance. I mean, I'm no perfect. I'm only a fisherman. I'm not a fiberglasser. Um, however, I don't think fiberglass top coat goes very well with the plastic. So what we've got to do now, strip all that back. Yes, we've got to strip all that back. And then we'll do it the old fashioned way. We'll get some primer on there. We'll get a coat of white on it. And hopefully by the time the sign writer is actually here to paint, we'll be good to go. Right, cue the music bars, because this is going to take a while. <laughs> right, here we go. And away we go again.
guys, just a quick one for you. I've been asked many times about what's the difference in my tapes that I use when I'm taping up the boat. Well, this is not a paid promotion. I always go for frog tape. It's a little bit more expensive than masking tape and stuff like that. However, oh, it's beautiful to work with. Now the green stuff, that's more like a permanent sort of fix. Whereas this is more... It's, it's known tack, it says, and it does exactly that. So anywhere that's fresh with paint or gel coat or something like that, and you're not wanting to rip half the boat off when you, you pull it off with the green stuff, that's the stuff to use. That's why I use different tapes on different areas of the boat when I know places are still wet. Hence why where the gel coat that we've done yesterday is uh, getting the yellow tape now. Right, we'll finish taping up so we can get this white line done.
So everyone, I'm sorry I'm going to call it quits there. Uh, I think this episode's long enough. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I would just like to say a huge welcome to all our new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. And for all everybody that's followed us from the beginning. Ah, love yous, love yous. Anyway, do the usual, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Tick that subscribe button. You know that's the one I want. I really want that one. And tick that notification bell. And YouTube will make you very special indeed, my friends. Until the next episode, which may be a sign writer. Guess we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Mm. Right, guys. Have a good one. See you next week. All the very best, my friends. So boys and girls, welcome to another episode of One Man and His Boat. I am your host Barry and this is our gorgeous Cygnus 21. Oh, the lights are Dear. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Barry and I... That's uh, not what I said. Was I'm teaching our daughter Kayla to actually... I just add to insult to injury. Or actual family car, um, the emergency... I mean, the rules and regulations, it's like they couldn't be bothered to actually... I'll say that again in another way. When a fisherman sells his boat, he sells it in certain sizes. Now, you usually go for like... Um, oh, what the hell is it? <laughs> I forgot what it is. <laughs> Oh my god, the outtakes are going to be good on this. So guys, that gives you a little uh, information about what you have to do to actually get your vessel carved and marked up, ready for to be... I'll just kind of... Whoa. That's better. So boys and girls, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this video, sure.